Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. Liverpool are taking on Hull City away from Anfield this weekend, looking to finally get their first win of 2017. So in my opinion, and I think the opinion of a lot of other Liverpool fans, this game is actually a bigger test than the game against Chelsea because it's one of those games that if Liverpool want to get their season properly back on track, they need to win. And it's the kind of games that when we're not performing well, we don't tend to win. We've seen it already this season where Liverpool have played the so-called smaller teams and these teams have sat back and soaked up the pressure and looked to catch Liverpool out on the counter-attack and often done it to devastating effect. And it was only when Liverpool were doing very well in this season in sort of September, October, November time that they were able to break down teams like this, notably when they did beat Hull 5-1 back at Anfield. Obviously, Hull are a different team now. They're probably a better team with their new manager, but they still could look to employ the same tactics and they still are one of the teams that Liverpool, if they want to get their season back to where they want it to be and secure a place in the top four and maybe, if we're being ambitious, get back involved in the title race, then these are the games where they need to be picking up three points with minimal fuss. So the big news today really is that there are no injuries at the moment, so things are going pretty well at Liverpool. Hopefully Sadio Mane will feature from the start in this game, having made an appearance against Chelsea off the bench, which means it will be the first time since we played Watford at Anfield all those months ago that Lallana, Mane, Coutinho and Firmino will all be starting from the beginning of the game for Liverpool, which is a massive boost because they were so instrumental to our title push earlier on this season. It's been obvious how much we've missed them since they've been out. And so hopefully Liverpool can get back to winning ways and start blowing it away teams like they were earlier on in the season now that all these players are back and playing together. With regards to all the other players in the lineup, I think it's probably Emre Jan that's going to make way for Sadio Mane and then Lallana will obviously come back into the midfield three because... While Jean did have a very good game against Chelsea, he's still blowing a little bit hot and cold. And it's teams like Hull, like I said, the so-called smaller teams, that he seems to perform less brilliantly against. And I think this is the right game for Genie Wijnaldum. And Klopp was talking about Wijnaldum a lot in his press conference today and how he thinks that Wijnaldum should be getting in the box more and how he was sort of getting behind him and motivating him and saying that he should be getting more goals and not say contributing more to the team because he is still a pretty vital player for Liverpool, but contributing more in terms of end product and the attacking threat. So things are going pretty well at Liverpool at the moment. With Joel Matip now uh, having had quite a few games coming back from his injury, he'll hopefully be able to shake off that rust and be back to the player he was earlier on in the season. Quick word on the Mamadou Sacco thing as well because Klopp did mention him briefly and suggested that maybe his time at Liverpool isn't over after all because he's finally done what Klopp wanted him to do which was go out on loan to another team and get some first team football rather than stay at Liverpool. Understandably Sacco wanted to fight for his place because I think he had a right to show that he was good enough to get back into Liverpool first team but I think it's important that Klopp shows that his word is final and he sets the rules. So if Sacco does go out on loan and does what Klopp told him to do, then there isn't really any reason why he should still be isolated from the first team, especially if Liverpool are looking to sort out some centre-back issues in the summer. So with things all looking like they're going pretty well at Liverpool at the moment, here's hoping that we can get three points this weekend. And looking forward to that and hoping that we do get the win, here are my three reasons why we will beat Hull. First of all, Klopp mentioned it in his presser today, the feel-good factor seems to be back at Liverpool. There was so much more energy at Anfield against Chelsea, the crowd were just up for it so much more. It's sort of a shame that after all those games at Anfield where the atmosphere was, let's be honest, a bit naff, now that it's got good again, we're going and playing away. But it will still have an influence on the team that the fans are getting behind them again. And hopefully, as I've mentioned in countless videos before, Liverpool will look like they're going to enjoy their football again, which is incredibly important because that's how we were playing this free-flowing football scoring all these goals and getting all those wins early on in the season so hopefully we can get back to that and second of all like with the feel-good factor that amazing front three that Liverpool have built is also back we've got Firmino back in the central role where he plays best we've got Coutinho back from his injury and we've also finally got Sadio Mane back from AFCON hopefully because Mane wasn't out through injury and was playing all the time while he was at AFCON it won't take him as long as it's taken other players like Matip and Coutinho to settle back into the side. I think that's one of the reasons that he came on against Chelsea was just to ensure that he got back into the rhythm of playing for Liverpool so he was ready for this game against Hull. But with those three and also with Lallana behind them, we can hopefully see, as I've mentioned before, a return to the football that we we're playing earlier on in this season. And it would just be great to see 
a Liverpool that's fun to watch again because it's just been a bit difficult to watch Liverpool at the moment and not as fun as it was earlier on in the season. It's become a bit of a, a stressful experience rather than an enjoyable one. So hopefully we can finally start playing some good football again with those front three back. My final reason, it sounds a bit strange when I say it, but hear me out, Hull are playing pretty well at the moment and this could actually work in Liverpool's favour because a lot of the time when we face teams that are in bad form, they do park the bus and it becomes very irritating and stops us from playing that fast counter-attacking football that has worked so well for us. So hopefully with it being at Hull's ground as well, they'll come out of their shell a little bit more, they'll look to attack, they'll look to get some goals and put some pressure on Liverpool and that should create space in behind for players like Sadio Mane to get forward on the counter-attack and play balls into the centre for players like Roberto Firmino to get a few more goals because let's be honest he needs some more goals as well just to get back to his form that we saw earlier on in the season. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Here's hoping that Liverpool can finally get three points this year in the game against Hull at the weekend. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new around here. Like the video if you enjoyed it and follow at LFC Focus TV on Twitter. Bye for now.